changes to Forceburn's clone, Maple's plants, the arrival of Adalus, and more in this patch preview. Forceburn's clone has been changed once again. We are still looking for a mechanic that will satisfy all the players, so please understand. The clone will no longer attack this time, but triggering it again will cause it to explode and knock the opponent away from its center. Forceburn must be in a neutral state to control the clone, which means that he cannot trigger the explosion while using an attack. This mechanic will help at extending his combos and step up his stage control. Maple's plant now works almost the same way as Forceburn's clone. It will no longer root the opponent, but attack as soon as someone's close enough. Just like Forceburn's clone, this will help at continuing your combos, racking up damage and controlling the stage. Unlike before, it is not necessary to mark your opponent to make Lily attack, she will just do it. Which means that the plant will no longer interact with Maple's mark. Because of this, parrying Maple's attacks will no longer remove the mark, since it isn't as dangerous as it used to be. Setterburn's up special received a small quality of life buff. Before, you could only aim for 12 different angles. In the new patch, you can choose between 24. This will help at aiming more precisely and provides deeper gameplay for Setterburn overall. Orcane now has a whiff recovery on all Puddle strong attacks. Before, there was barely any punish for missing some of his best moves. Now the Orcane player has to think twice before using this finisher, as it might backfire if whiffed. Resta received a slight nerf. Since his neutral special is shining a bit too bright, his horizontal movement speed while using it has been reduced to 75%. Crack's forward special is now only jump cancelable for 20 frames after hitting a rock or a pillar. If you are too late, you cannot jump out of it anymore. His down special now has its own animation when Crack is in the air. It's a spike attack and sends his opponent down and forward if hit. Also, he received a fancy new walking animation. Pretty smooth. Absa received a lot of small changes regarding her hurt boxes and recovery times. To see what exactly happened, be sure to check out the full change list in the descriptions. Also, just like Craig, she got a new walking animation. Next up, Adelis, the Glacier's Might. The new character is here and he's quite beefy with his size, letting Craig look pretty small. He may not excel at outspeeding the opponent, but he's definitely capable of ending his rival's stock quickly. Tricky super armor and his ice mechanics make him a pretty dangerous encounter, so be sure to give it a try. Additionally to the new character, we have two new stages, the Tower of Heaven and finally Forceburn stage, the Blazing Hideout. The Tower of Heaven has two lower platforms and one on the top. Its Aether version lets you use laws to make your opponents struggle. Similar to the stage's original game, Tower of Heaven. The Blazing Hideout has one big platform in the center of it. So be sure to improve your platform drop movement, since you will definitely need it a lot on this stage. Its Aether version is literally on fire. Sometimes it even rises up to the stage's floor, so be sure to avoid that. That's it for this patch preview. If you want to see even more content about this game, be sure to subscribe. With that said, thanks for watching and stay beefy.